In today's world of exponential technology, careers transform in the blink of an eye. What was cutting edge expertise yesterday is obsolete today. To stay ahead, we must adapt at lightning speed, but the traditional process of learning is sluggish and ineffective for our times. We need new methods to keep pace with change. The question becomes, how can we master skills with extraordinary speed and effectiveness? How did geniuses like Einstein make groundbreaking discoveries? What secrets of the brain unlock rapid learning? Are there techniques to achieve mastery exponentially faster? This age of acceleration demands that we learn skills like gods by modeling history's rapid learners, understanding the psychology of mastery, and optimizing our practice. We can acquire talents as quickly as Hermes. The secrets to godlike skills lie within reach. Here we will uncover the keys to learning any ability with supernatural swiftness. You will discover how to master desired skills in a fraction of conventional time, opening new possibilities in work and life. The solutions may surprise you in their simplicity, but apply them diligently and you will learn like never before. The winds of change can cruelly punish those unwilling to adapt. Consider the tragic decline of Kodak, a story that clearly reveals why we must rapidly learn skills to survive shifting times. For over a century, Kodak dominated photography and film, becoming a household name synonymous with capturing life's memories. At its peak, it held a staggering 80% market share as consumers embraced its signature Instamatic and Kodachrome products. But the digital revolution silently caught up to this giant. As smartphones and digital cameras disrupted the industry, Kodak held on dearly to its analog film and photo printing business. Despite inventing the first digital camera in 1975, fear of undermining its traditional cash cow blinded Kodak. It suppressed its own creation to protect the status quo. While the winds transformed to a storm, Kodak refused to adapt. It desperately poured resources into trying to breathe new life into dated film products rather than pivot to digital domains. Unable to rapidly acquire fresh expertise, Kodak sank deeper as the market embraced instant photo sharing through apps like Instagram. By 2012, after over a century of prosperity, Kodak filed for bankruptcy. Its analog empire crumbled in the new digital frontier. From a peak workforce of 145,000, less than 6,000 employees remained. Its fall from grace stands as a cautionary reminder that without constantly learning new skills, we too will become relics of the past. What sealed Kodak's fate was an unwillingness to part with the familiar and a paralysis in quickly gaining digital competencies before it was too late. We now face ever faster disruption, making rapid skill acquisition essential to stay ahead of the curve. With the rise of artificial intelligence, no code solutions, and the disappearance of easy to delegate or automate positions, to some, the future looks grim. Yet learning demanding new expertise the traditional way is excruciatingly slow. Most of us lack the luxury of investing months or years into mastering skills that technology will soon transform once again. And conventional learning is frequently an unfulfilling grind, leaving us disengaged and discouraged. While the old models are slow to adapt, like within large educational institutions or publicly funded organizations, as individuals, we must be open to new methods of adaptation or face the pain of becoming incompetent. To thrive in these times, we require accelerated methods to keep pace with change. The information age's quickening tempo demands modernized learning techniques equal to the speedy rate of progress. The question becomes, how can we master complex skills with extraordinary speed, effectiveness, and fulfillment? To rapidly master skills, we must delve into the evolutionary roots of human focus and learning. Picture our ancestors, not just as survivors, but as beings equipped with a remarkable superpower that set the course of our dominance, the ability to hyper-focus over extended periods. Visualize the prehistoric landscapes where early humans, unlike the swift lions or powerful bears, harnessed a different kind of strength. They embarked on relentless pursuits, tracking their prey across expansive terrains. These persistence hunters with their unparalleled focus turned the art of hunting into a strategic game of endurance. Each step was meticulously planned, each move a calculated decision. As they paced themselves in this survival dance, their minds were not just on the chase, but also on understanding their prey, visualizing every possible outcome. This mental agility, paired with physical endurance, led to their ultimate success. This ability to concentrate profoundly, to persist where others might relent, 
marked a turning point in human evolution. It was more than a survival tactic. It was the birth of a cognitive revolution. This deep focus allowed early humans to take down larger, stronger game, establishing us as apex predators. It set in motion a chain of cognitive developments that would eventually lead to humans mastering not just their environment, but shaping the world as we know it. This history of human focus is not just a relic of our past. It is the key to unlocking our potential in the present. As we stand on the brink of a new age where skill acquisition is not just a pathway to success, but a necessity for survival, understanding and embracing this intrinsic human trait becomes essential. Leveraging our inherent strengths is a fundamental aspect of achieving mastery. The historic rivalry between Thomas Edison and Nikola Tesla vividly illustrates this principle. Edison, known for his hands-on approach, dedicated countless hours to experimenting with tangible models. He meticulously tested over a thousand filament materials in his quest to develop the perfect light bulb. His workshop was a testament to trial and error, reflecting his belief in the power of persistence and physical experimentation. In contrast stood Nikola Tesla, a visionary who dwelled in the realm of ideas. Tesla's workshop was his mind, where he constructed and deconstructed complex systems through vivid mental simulations. These thought experiments were not mere daydreams, but structured explorations that enabled him to conceive the principles of alternating current. Tesla's ability to rapidly prototype ideas in his imagination allowed him to bypass the time-consuming physical trials that Edison endured. Both men, giants in their own right, leaned into their individual strengths to foster innovation. Edison's physical experimentation and Tesla's mental gymnastics demonstrate that there are multiple paths to mastery. Understanding and harnessing one's unique abilities can significantly accelerate the journey towards skill acquisition and groundbreaking achievements. Modern research confirms focus and effort sculpt skill. Myelin, a fatty insulating sheath, builds up around frequently fired neuron circuits, increasing the speed and efficiency of signals. The more we practice a skill, the more myelination occurs, optimizing pathways for mastery. To better picture this, imagine a forest which has never been trekked. At first, a trail blazed by, a person will reveal a dim path to some point. After multiple people have followed the same path, now we have an established route which is clearer to follow. The more traffic this path gets, it becomes a road. And finally, a highway. A highly refined and optimized pathway to get one from point A to point B in the most efficient way possible. The same process occurs in the brain. This is why talent is described as a skill you never cease working on. Genius emerges from lifelong improvement. The journey of learning is a transformative process that unfolds in distinct stages. Initially, we exist in a state of unconscious incompetence, unaware of our lack of knowledge or skill. As we expose ourselves to new information and experiences, this ignorance lifts and we step into the realm of conscious incompetence, where our gaps in understanding become apparent. It's here that the real work begins. We consciously engage in honing our skills, steadily progressing towards conscious competence, a stage where our abilities are developed, but still require effort and concentration to apply. Eventually, with persistence and practice, we reach the pinnacle, unconscious competence, where our skills become second nature, as instinctive as breathing. Recognizing these stages helps maintain patience and perspective throughout our learning journey. But the path to mastery isn't just about practice, it's equally about how we engage with the learning process. Research shows that active participation dramatically enhances retention and understanding. For instance, we retain approximately 90% of what we teach to others, and 75% of what we actively practice. Group discussions can help us remember about 50% of the information, while passive activities like attending lectures only contribute to a 5% retention rate. Tailoring our learning methods to include more active and participatory elements can drastically improve our ability to retain and apply new knowledge. And let's not forget, our brain is an adaptable organ, constantly evolving with our experiences. Much like an athlete trains their muscles for strength and agility, we can train our neural pathways for skill mastery. When we repeatedly practice a skill, our brain responds by optimizing the neural circuits involved in that activity. By observing and emulating those who've rapidly mastered skills, we can uncover efficient strategies to accelerate our journey from a novice to an adept, achieving what might seem like a superhuman feat in our chosen fields. 
with a deeper understanding of the history, psychology, and science of rapid skill acquisition, we turn to the proven techniques that can propel us towards mastery with astonishing speed. Albert Einstein's story is a testament to the power of curiosity. His relentless fascination with the nature of light and time fueled him to conduct thought experiments that shattered the boundaries of classical physics. It wasn't just raw intelligence that set Einstein apart, it was his insatiable curiosity and passion for understanding the universe's mysteries. Einstein's approach demonstrates that to achieve true mastery, we must let our innate desire to explore and understand lead the way. He didn't just absorb existing knowledge, he questioned it, stretched it, and flipped it upside down. This led to groundbreaking theories that forever changed our understanding of space, time, and energy. Grasping the essence of rapid skill acquisition, we see that it's not just about learning techniques, but about igniting the intrinsic motivators within us. After all, if we learn to tap into the emotions which can forever drive us, there's no limit to our learning. Mastery, curiosity, and passion are not just buzzwords. They are the fuel that drives us towards acquiring skills with remarkable speed and efficiency. When we are genuinely curious, deeply passionate, or driven by the desire for mastery, our learning transcends mere practice. It becomes a transformative experience. This internal drive is what makes the difference between simply learning a skill and truly mastering it. By harnessing these powerful motivators, we can turn the journey of skill acquisition into an engaging, fulfilling, and boundary-pushing adventure. Benjamin Franklin's approach to improving his writing skill is a perfect embodiment of deliberate practice. He didn't just passively read the works of great authors, he actively engaged with them. Franklin would read essays and take brief notes. Then, he challenged himself by trying to replicate their style, writing his own passages before comparing them to the originals. This method provided immediate feedback, highlighting areas for improvement in his writing. Franklin's method demonstrates how we can apply deliberate practice in our own skill development. It starts with setting hyper-specific goals, not just vague aspirations. For instance, if you're learning a new language, instead of a broad goal like become fluent, aim for something more defined, such as hold a five-minute conversation with a native speaker about daily routines. Designing a system for improvement means breaking down this goal into manageable steps. Using the language example, it could involve daily vocabulary practice, regular listening exercises, and speaking drills. Keeping a feedback log helps track your progress and identify patterns or areas needing more work. Finally, seeking a mentor or coach can provide invaluable insights. They offer perspectives and knowledge that can drastically cut down the learning curve, helping you avoid common pitfalls and refine your techniques more effectively. By replicating Franklin's approach in our chosen fields, we can transform our learning process from aimless practice to a targeted, efficient path to mastery. Flow state characterized by its potential for superhuman focus and productivity, is a game changer in skill acquisition. This heightened state of consciousness, where clear goals, immediate feedback, and total immersion converge, can elevate our performance dramatically. Research into various fields, from the arts to sports to surgery, has shown that individuals in flow can experience up to a five-fold increase in productivity and effectiveness. This optimal zone, where distractions vanish and one's abilities are utilized to their fullest, significantly accelerates the learning process. When we blend this concept of flow with the principles of deliberate practice, the impact on skill mastery is profound. For instance, consider the journey of improving chess skills. By meticulously analyzing the strategies of grandmasters, you identify key areas of strength to emulate. You set precise goals, perhaps improving your proficiency in offensive moves. As you engage in practice games, you strive to enter the flow state through various flow triggers, focusing intensely and losing yourself in the game. Each session, supplemented by detailed feedback, becomes a stepping stone to greater mastery. This powerful combination of deliberate, focused practice and the heightened productivity of flow state creates a synergy that can dramatically speed up the process of skill acquisition. While techniques are indispensable, true expertise requires one last ingredient, grit. Angela Duckworth, the author of Grit, found that grit was the prime differentiator between average and exceptional performance. It entails persevering through adversity and maintaining effort and passion despite plateaus. Grit shows why prodigies often plateau while the persistent excel. Mastery emerges from tireless commitment to lifelong improvement. Rapid skill acquisition may seem daunting, but history provides a blueprint. Find the intrinsic motivation that will sustain you. 
embrace deliberate systems and immediate feedback, seek flow states to massively boost practice, and above all else, nurture grit. It's the bedrock sustaining the journey. Greatness appears overnight, but is years in the making. With the right mindset and methods, you can ascend to mastery faster than you ever imagined possible. Never discourage anyone who continually makes progress, no matter how slow. Plato.